The average American spends between three and a half to six hours a day with some kind of screen media, and we still know very little about what we're doing and how it affects us. So media psychology focuses on individual motivations for and effects from mediated technology. It's not just the content, it's how the content and the viewers interact. What we're doing while we're watching it, so how is it that we comprehend and understand stories? Like it's one of our daily routine, so it is very true to anybody. I'm very interested in the effects of motivation on media selection patterns. The core of my research program is about how do stories affect us, why do we like them, and why do we spend time on them. We're doing a fair amount of work right now on media and racism. How do people um, use media and how does that affect their well-being? We have the largest concentration of media psychologists in the world here at Michigan State. So it means I can work with people who work across a range of different media. We've got a great VR space, we've got great video game people. It means I can kind of play with these concepts divorced from any specific context. I'm very much about creativity and looking at things from new and unique ways. This is a place that allows us to do that. You have tons of options. <laughs> I just like to get excited. <laughs>